Hey everybody, this is Tony here, our Cabin Woods. And I was doing some thinking. The last two days I've seen a lot of places on, uh, talking about um, prepping. You know, um, SHTF hit hits. And, uh, and it's good to see all these people talking about this. Um, they, 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 everybody needs to know it. Everybody needs to prep for it. But I've seen everybody talk about stuff. And uh, I think I have not seen, I personally don't think I've seen anybody talk about this one thing. If you plan to stay where you're at and not move, you've got family, you've got friends all going to come to your place and hunker down. Um, I have not seen this. Have you all thought about how are you going to stop people if you have a long driveway coming down your driveway? Not stop them, because you probably won't be able to stop them, but you're going to be able to slow them down so you can notice that somebody is coming down your driveway. Um, you know, you think about it, a lot of people, marauders and whatever else, they're going to be driving vehicles wanting to raid real fast on your property, get you by surprise. You know, drive down the driveway by carrying heavy equipment. Well, I've always known what I was going to do, and I just never thought about saying nothing, so I did. So, what I was going to show you is, I don't, don't have a setup, but I'm not going to. It's going to be too heavy to move. Imagine somebody coming down your driveway. Alright, he's coming down your driveway. And you have no way of stopping them. You don't know they're coming. They've got, you know, you could have a gate. And they can cut your gate. Your gate. Um, oh, let's sidetrack real fast. Gate. Um, I don't know if people know, but if you have a lock on your gate with a chain, yes, you can get bolt cutter you know if you put a cable on your gate that bolt cutter does not cut cable nope you gotta have a, a cable cutter it won't cut it so what I've done Will's hair is all over me there what I've done is I put a cable on mine and I switch them out I go cable I do uh, heavy duty chain and uh, even the locks are not cheap. They're very strong. So even a regular, um, a regular uh, bolt cutter won't cut them. And actually, I do the same thing as with my trailer. Now, get back to that. Yes, the gate does slow them down, but people can hop it. Um, believe it or not, some gates. Mine is bolted down in steel with bolts. You won't have an issue with mine coming loose it'll stay with it if someone was to hit it but I want you to think about what are you gonna do to block cars from coming down this drive what 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 are you what are you really gonna do you know you're not gonna be able to put cement blocks down yeah you can but you know if you got truck you can drive over that um, well the cheap cheapest thing that I know you can do um, to be able to try to stop a vehicle is telephone poles okay you can get them for free and you can pay for them um, I see them going for about a dollar a foot is what I, what they go for I happen to get those they're 22 foot long I cut them that long they're even longer I cut the bottoms and I got 22 of them at one time for free yes free this is what I've got left over as you can see my telephone poles I used for my awning for my camper. I'm going to use four more for my my um, pole barn for my trailer. So what I've got is I've got my telephone poles. And I'm going to lay them across the front here. Now, I'm not going to lay them on the ground. Well, I will one end. You ever see the old war movies on the beaches that had these poles laying there and they had those crisscrossed uh, timbers? Okay. Half of these already have that eyelet right there. So I can pick this up and drag them. The other ends are have them over there. Some of them are laying on them. Um, I've got my eyelet so I can drag them around how I want them. See how big these things are? These are 12 inches or bigger, some of them. Here's 12 inch. These, well, these are... These are big, heavy. These here weigh 600 pounds. You just don't pick them up and move them out of your way. Now you do have trucks that you can you can drive over them with any truck. So what you want to do is 
have them set at an angle like this on a tripost and have them set there. But then you want to put your other one up this way on a tripost, crisscrossing your driveway. That way they can't drive over them. If they try to knock them over with a vehicle, most likely they'll do, they're not going to be able to climb over at that time because there's just going to be a big bundle of wood on there. Their main purpose of what you want to do is you want to be able to slow these people down from coming on your property with vehicles. Um, yeah, they can jump out and come around. But the biggest thing that people want is they want to be get on your property real fast. Everybody, when something happens around here, I can tell you right now, we all have radios here. We all have the same channels, and they're all plugged in. There's, um, there's eight radios around here that's, you know, within a half mile of us. We've even got a way to block the road if we needed to. Yes. So, what we're getting with the radio is you got your neighbors across the streets, and if they see somebody stopping in your front yard, they'll be yelling at you, hey, because you're going to have your radio on when that happens. Hey, you've got something going on. They can see your property. We can see theirs. Of course, you'll have people watching out on your property, watching what's going on. But most of the time, this stuff will happen at night. They'll try to drive. Now, if they pull up your front gate, they're going to see your property. Wow, they got a lot of timber in front. And that may be a deterrent for them not to come on your property. But, think about this. It could be a deterrent, but also could be saying, man, they got stuff over there because you got a big blockade in your driveway. So that's why you've got to be really secure of what you're doing. They do sell these um, property line or property... Um, it's a laser beam. You can set it on one side of the driveway, put it on the other, and something breaks the beam. It beeps in your home. Um, they do have them um, that you can set up. You can have uh, motion lights set up in different sections of your, in different trees on your property. Have them set up. Purpose is you want to be able to have, when you're in your home, see a light come on outside. You want to hear a beep. You want to know that somebody is on your property. Yes, we have deer that are out here. But you know what? I'd rather have that beep because of a deer or light. But you don't want to get so you saying, oh, that's a deer. Well, that's a deer. And not check on it. You got to check on it all the time. Fortunately, from where my front windows is, my windows are down there. I can see down my driveway real good in bad situations. No problem with the birds. They all come running up. <laughs> I got a bird in the woods right there digging. Anyway, sidetracking here. So you need to think about, um, everybody's got all these preps. Do you have a way to stop them coming down your yard? Well, we are out here, my driveway is my number one thing. And that's what those poles are for. And I'm going to... I need to go ahead and uh, cut up some and make some of those try things. I can set them out back in the woods and uh, I can move them with my tractor. It's one good thing I've got the tractor for. Um, I know my neighbor, he has some of mine stuff over there too and he's going to set them up on his to block his driveway the same exact way. Um, that way we're all secured on this side right here. Then we got the woods to worry, I'll worry about. But we've got fence line with lots of barbed wire on it. Yes, you can cut it. There's no doubt about it. But it takes time to do that stuff. And if uh, SHTF happens, believe me, you're not going to be sleeping all the time in the bedroom and whatever. Uh, you're going to have posts. You're going to have people walking. You're going to have people watching what's going on. So you're going to hear, you're going to know stuff, you know, uh, that something's up. And it's going to be up to you to keep up with that. Because um, this isn't a game when this happens. This is real life. Something bad could happen here. So, um, what else could we use across the driveway? We could put up a temporary fence. Um, if you got, I got an auger for my tractor, I could sink some poles in the ground and I could run some bob wire or some fencing. Uh, only thing is, yes, they can cut that and they can cross it. But once again, I'm talking, you want to be able to slow them down enough that you notice what's going on. 
So, and the other thing you don't want to do is you want to just be distracted by everybody watching here what's going on versus then somebody popping out over here. So you always got to have eyes around you wide open. I always have a phrase, keep your eyes wide open. And I say that all the time, a lot of times on YouTube. It's something you got to do. You can do fence line. I tell you what, what I, what, what I found, and I scored big. This is probably about, I was on this property, so f say five years ago. Um, look who jumped up. Hi, Happy. Happy. What you doing, honey? Hmm? You going to step in with us? Happy? No? Okay. Um, what I did is uh, I like to go to metal salvage yards and see what they've got laying around. Well, I showed up there. And I found rolls. I may have showed you those rolls once before on video. Out back I have rolls. It's probably about that round thick. And they are about three foot tall rolls of bob wire. I used one roll. I did 330 feet and had a lot extra across my fence line. And I got it for, I think I remember saying I got it for a quarter of the price at the salvage yard there was nothing wrong with it it looks just like it's brand new other than on these big it's not even on a roll it's rolled when they rolled it up to recover it they must have rolled it on a machine and it was wrapped up and it was set and that was it and this is not new it's used but it's beautiful stuff bob wire can you string bob wire you sure can and that will slow them down um, you can you know, set poles up across that's another option to do you run them across the driveway sink them in there and you're gonna have bob wire going everywhere you want some of the bob wire to be loose and you want some of it be, to be very 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 tight why because when bob wires are bob wire is different tension and set it becomes different obstacles for you to go through when you're trying to cross so i mean that is something else to think of uh fencing yeah you could put a roll fencing up across the driveway across that area everything will slow them down and that's the goal um, my thing was that I would be putting bob wire up. I get an auger, like I said, I'll sink some poles. Bob wire goes across the driveway. By then, I should have all my family here. Everybody be here. Everybody's locked down. Everybody's safe. So once that stuff's up, you're here. You're not going nowhere for a while, and you gotta you gotta know that. So that's where the prepping kicks in. This is why, because when something happens, you're not going to stores and buying anything. You're not going nowhere. You're staying here. You gotta be able to survive on your own. This is what all this stuff's all about. I have. I got going on. Look at the two birds. <laughs> Happy's right behind me. Hey, baby. What you doing, hon? Mama told me you got a big fur ball in your neck, and you do. We're gonna have to cut that off you later. Yeah. Okay. You need to come in the house too here the next couple of days. <coughs> all right, guys. I think I pretty much covered it. Um, you know, another good thing that people wouldn't think about is those big concrete barriers. But do you have a way to pick up that barrier, barrier and set it down and block people from coming on your property? Do you have a way? Them things are super heavy. My tractor won't pick it up. I mean, you know the size of my tractor. It probably pick up about 900 to 1,000 pounds, and that's it. Those things got to weigh 10,000 pounds, probably more. So, do you have a way to pick that stuff up? Move it. And if you had to move it, do you have a way to move it back out of the way quicker? You know, that's something that you got to think of also. So anyway, guys, uh, hopefully I kind of filled you in just a little bit on preparedness as far as stopping people from coming on your property. Um, it's, a, it's a fact. I mean, you got to, uh, you got to think about that stuff. Um, my wife is heading home. You have to think about how you're going to be able to survive this stuff and um, how you're going to stop people from coming. You're not going to be able to stop them because they're going to hop fences. you got to be able to slow them down, and that's the biggest thing. you got to slow them down and keep them out of the way. Keep them, you know, from everybody seeing, you know, from them coming on your property. All right, guys, we're going to get going. I appreciate you guys watching my videos, and uh, I enjoy doing this stuff, and... Uh, Y'all guys, everybody have a great day. Happy? You gonna tell everybody to have a great day? No? Yeah, we gotta cut that off tonight. That's pretty bad. Big furball clump. Two of them. Right there. We'll have to cut that off later. 
All right, guys, where are you going? Y'all have a great night. Thanks for watching, subscribing, thumbs up. And remember, think about this stuff, prepping. You know, it's just not prepping to have food. It's prepping everything. How are you going to do it? You know what you're going to have. Um, how are you going to stop people? That's what it's all about. Prepping is everything. All right, y'all. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.